get burned in mud. That people are just clowning around. Nobody takes the word of God seriously except me. And I have been a clown. Ah, well, all things that have been hidden shall be revealed, said the Lord. That's what restoration is. That is what Christ meant by all things will be restored. All things hidden will be known properly. Welcome. These are the days to discover the hiddenness that has been. I got a lot of it to uh, reveal. John 16, 12, Jesus says, I have much more to tell you, but it is still more than you can bear at this time. Uh, John 16, 12. He took Thomas aside and he told him three things and it pissed Thomas right off. And I'm going to tell you what he told them. The Lord has given me unction that it's time to reveal that the Gospel of Thomas was a hundred percent canon. <laughs> Jesus actually said everything that Thomas said that he did, but it was not allowed to go into the Bible because of one verse. And the verse was this. And it came to pass that Jesus said that uh, Jesus said to Thomas, because you've drunk, you've become intoxicated by the bumbling spring that I've measured out. Now that was metaphoric what he was saying, but it was still true. So he took Thomas aside and told him three things. And when Thomas returned to the other disciple, they asked, what did Jesus say to you? And then Thomas turned to them and said, if I tell you one of the things that he said to me, you will pick up stones and you will cast them at me and fire will come out of the stones and burn you up. Wow, what a thing to say about Jesus. What in the heck could Jesus have said that provoked him so much? Well, firstly, he told us, he told him that everybody has always been exactly the same, no matter what they believe, that it's always been about love alone is what differentiates us, that what sets us apart for the kingdom is wide as the way unto hell paid by conditional love. Narrow is the way to heaven with unconditional love. So he told them, he told uh, Thomas that we are all the same and all are loved the same. But he stressed that there is and always has been a mystery of love to keep. And the mystery of God, Revelation 10, 7, this is the veil that was to be removed off God's latter-day mountain, Isaiah 2, Micah 4, Isaiah 25, the great mountain covered with spiritual food. Oh, I got my own backwards here. There you go. So the mystery was to uh, stay. It was imperative that the gross darkness that has been over all mankind stayed until the latter days. We were to continue looking through glass darkly, only knowing in part, only understanding in part the main truth of the Bible always hidden from us until the last days. And in the last days, the seventh trumpet would sound, the first is last, last is first, and then all nations would become the Lord's with the equality of his love exposed. And that is by his kingdom age covenant that Christianity has been wrongly standing on for 2000 years. Now is time to the revelation that we have had nothing but desolate heritages. Isaiah 49, eight predicted this correctly, but everything in the word of God was camouflaged and hidden. And he told Thomas that 
humanity was too immature in order to handle the truth, and the truth of love would have to be veiled until the latter days when everything would be restored and all that has been hidden would be revealed. In the uh, book of uh, Thomas, Christ also said something very profound. And truly, truly, I tell you, uh, the book of Thomas is canon. Uh, but guess what? All the canons are now broken asunder anyways. These are the days of the shattering of the power of the holy people because the covenant message of Malachi 3, one that prepares Christ's way has now been given. The Lord says, I am your God. You are my people. I have forgiven all your iniquity. I shall never remember it. I shall write my law and my love upon your hearts. Beyond that, none shall ever even need to be taught of me, says the Lord God. For all who love shall know me from the first to the last, because I am love living within them. And so in this hour, uh, Jesus had already told us that uh, salvation and born again, you can't even know about it. It's like the wind. You don't know where it blow, blows. You cannot tell. And we went and uh, said, oh, if you believe in Jesus, you get saved. No one has ever got saved. Never in all of Earth's history. We are saved. Jesus said, if that counts, unless we commit blasphemy of the Holy Spirit, even sin against him, he said, would be forgiven. Blasphemy of the Holy Spirit is to kick love right out of us so that there, we would be tossed out to where there's weeping and gnashing of teeth and to where it is lovelessness. And so it is time that we need to realize that uh, there is uh, truth uh, that we don't have to uh, follow by, by uh, that which has been hidden now that it is revealed. Because Jesus said, we have to know what is in front of your face and then what has been hidden to you will be revealed because there's nothing hidden that will not be revealed. People have not known what is in front of their face um, when they're viewing this channel because I am Shiloh, one whose eyes are red and dull of wine, uh, transgressed by wine, but the just will live by my faith, Habakkuk 2. Uh, the alcoholic of Zechariah 3, standing there with Barth, chosen to be the author of the flying scroll, Zechariah 5, and in between he lights one candlestick not to for this character who is me and I am the alcoholic and the lamp that he lit was a lamp of uh, it was never plugged in <laughs> I had demanded a, a, a miracle or I wasn't going to believe God of things to come concerning the future of God's sons and daughters and the work of his hands he says command ye me and I did and I was a little pissed when I did too so in this hour, it is time to realize that there has been a veil over all nations. The Bible says so in Isaiah 60 and Micah 4. The Bible says so in Isaiah 25. And in the last days, it would be revealed. And so it is revealed that God has always loved people equally. And because Satan has been the accuser of the brethren day and night as Revelation 12 says he has been removed in accordance with what scripture has foretold. Otherwise, he would have made God instantly into a liar. Because uh, how could the Lord say unto us, I forgive you and I will never remember it when Satan, the accuser of the brethren, is right there, yada, yada, yada. You can take comfort in the truth, uh, the gospel truth that Adam and Eve had, had no belly buttons. That's logical and it uh, comes forth with reason and understanding and who could debate that who could debate what I'm saying people do not get saved they they do not get lost we are lost if like sheep we go astray and we let our love die then we need to get born again and we need to be as little children again or else if we continue on the road that we're going then we would be cast out into outer darkness where there would be uh, uh, weeping and gnashing of teeth. Blasphemy of the Holy Spirit is 
when you kick love right out of us, which is Jesus. Uh, every knee will bow to that secret name of Christ in Mark 4. Every tongue will confess love. Jesus was just a name invented in the 18th century. It replaced Yeshua and Yahweh. Uh, and Jehovah came forth in Jesus, uh, Latin. Uh, there was nothing holy about that name. It was not written by an apostle even. The apostle of John wrote the name Love, capital L. And so in this day, if you read the Kingdom Age covenant that has been never given until the latter days, Jeremiah 31, 1 says it would be given to Israel. It says so. And it says that it would be given to all mankind, Jeremiah 32, 27. But guess what? Early Christians, they caused the biggest distortion in history by grabbing the, the books of the Hebrews, stealing them, then declaring, and we are Israel, the true Israel, and uh, all the prophecy was for us. So in this hour, it's time to get ready, because guess what? It's time to realize that the glory of the Lord will cover the earth as waters cover the sea. And it's time to realize that his arms have never been too short to save. And if we will get with that program, the glory of the Lord will come and the light thereof will just totally uh, camouflage and hide that which is really going on so that we cannot discern what is behind the veil, but the veil is and always has been determined to be revealed in the latter days. And if it is not, then the Lord's word is a lie. But praise God, there's nothing to be fearful about true camouflage. It has only been meant to protect us and to protect us from us. If the Lord had not availed the truest truth of the unconditionality of his love, this world, we were not uh, able to, to accept that fact in the immaturity of mankind. We had many hard and grueling lessons to learn that would be uh, like turning a page in history. And so it's time to realize the destiny of mankind has always been this, this alone, the heart of hearts of Christ. And if you can clap to that, it's, it's time for some really big claps. I'll be right back. So love from love, hope from hope, peace from our prince thereof, faith from he who is our living faith. Receive now uh, a big thumbs up. And if you will take that, it is time to get on with the truest meaning of hiddenness revealed. Hey, guess what? It is time for the fire, the passion of love. And if you can dig that, get ready, hold on to your seat. Please like and subscribe. The truth is this world will soon be destroyed according to the Bible, total annihilation of man if people will not believe the word of God. And so know that the greatest secrets always have been hidden in the most unusual places. And in the case of the biggest secrets of love, they have been hidden in plain sight, written in the word of God. Jeremiah 31 and 1 the kingdom age covenant that would be given for the in the latter days and so it is time to realize that uh, there are two types of secrets the kind that you want to keep in and the kind that you don't dare to let out and God could not dare to let out the truth of his love and the truth is that there is no such thing of, as love at all unless it's dedicated and uh, all merciful and patient and kind and that is God's love for each and every one of us and with a secret like that at some point the secret itself becomes irrelevant the fact uh, that you kept it the fact that you kept the secret does not keep going it it, it is relevant and it's time that we share the secrets hidden in each of us 
is a secret person, uh, often unknown even unto our own selves. And many, most of us are on the road to perishing. Wide is the way to hell paved with unconditional, uh, with conditional love. It's the I love you uh, because kind of love. Or I'll love you if you do this or if you do that kind of love, which is shallow as a glass of water kind of love. It's a veneer kind of love. And so in this hour, it is time uh, to receive God's greatest loving power. And as I do that, I'm going to do one other thing here in a moment. Uh, but one thing is for sure that uh, the secret that was to come out in the last days needs to be deep in the heart because every mystery of the Spirit was hidden and it is no more. I have revealed all the secrets of God here at this channel and I am hated. Uh, one uh, dear sweet Christian woman called me a Christ, uh, called me a uh, demon troll and I've been called a Satanist even though uh, I give the highest praise for our Lord of any that have been ever on uh, YouTube. Who could deny that? Uh, if anybody has listened to me, I, I am a whirlwind of praise. Who will come and feed the master's house? Who will meet while the master is away? The milk of this age has gone toxic long ago, and people are teaching heresy and blasphemy. And so in this hour, it is time to realize the secrets are, are pleasant to each and every child of love if we will but open our hearts to receive them. And a secret's uh, worth depends on the people from whom it must be keep, uh, kept. Rather, uh, The worth of a secret, the value of a secret, uh, Sometimes it is the wisest thing to keep a secret, a mystery. And in Revelation 10, 7, it was foretold that the mystery of God would end in the latter days so that the wise might shine as the stars, as the sun of righteousness who arises to destroy all gross darkness as it is written in uh, Daniel 12. So uh, know that everyone is like a moon and everyone has a dark side. Uh, which uh, we never show unto anyone. We are ashamed of our dark side. But guess what? The Lord wants to remove all shame, all guilt from off this Latter-day Mountain, covered with spiritual food. There are 12,000 videos created here in two years, and I, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I've just started. And uh, so the, the truest truth is that in this hour, there are not any big secrets, and nor are there any little secrets. What gives our secrets their emotional value is the fact that they are ours and affects us. A secret is a secret, no matter whether it's big or whether it's small. But in the days of the restoration of all things, all may be known if anybody will hear. And for that reason, Jesus said, that truly Elijah would come forth first and restore all things. And the Word of God declares that if that does not happen, Jesus Christ, under no circumstances, can return to earth at all, ever, never, uh, according to, to uh, the Word of God in Acts 3.21. He will be kept in reserve in heaven, and what we will get is a world with no birds, no fish, no man. These are days just like days of Noah. The secret is out and nobody seems to give a flying fliggin damn. And so in these days, it's time to realize that all secrets become deep and all secrets become dark. That is the nature of secrets. But love has always been an open secret. Love is the most obvious thing in the world. Uh, and also it is the most hidden. Uh, I have... Uh, supposed Christians call me demon trolls when they can't see my dedication and passion and fervency 
I, I preach to white noise. And why do I do it? Because I believe every word coming out of Christ's mouth that he has spoken unto me. Love is the ark appointed for the righteousness, which annuls the danger and provides a way of escape. Love has prepared a way where it seems that there has been no way, and I am the bringer of that message. Love is an open secret, and it's time to discern love, and it's time to that we need to believe uh, that we secretly do love each other, even though we won't even admit that unto ourselves. And so know that a blindfold is not a barrier. It is a gateway to a different set of senses. But we must remove the blinders if we are to walk through this world and not be destroyed for our lack of knowledge, as Habakkuk says. And so in this hour, the mystery is over and a, a past hidden in darkness, uh, cloaked in secrets, has now been revealed. The sunshine of his love is apparent and open, and it is uh, radiant in this way. The, the rays of his sun are blinding, and if we stand in the path of his light, then next thing you know, it's, it's like everything that we have discerned uh, goes away. And all we can see is the light of the fire of love. And so in this hour, love from love, hope from hope, and peace from our Prince of Peace. And realize that secrets die, but secrecy grows. So please do not keep this channel a big secret. Um, for it's important to realize that there are absolutely no words at all that can tell the hidden spirit of the wilderness uh, that could reveal its mystery, its melancholy, its charm. There is a delight in the hearty life of the open, the open of the, those open of the spirit. Apart from this, yet mingled with the same strong attraction of the silent places of the large tropic moons and the splendor of the new stars, that is where we need to look up, where the wanderer sees the awful glory of the sunrise and sunset in the wide waste spaces of earth, unworn of man and changed only by the slow change of the ages through time everlasting. So as I say goodbye to one and all, know that the big goodbye is just ahead for all of us. The Bible has warned us, and no one is paying attention. All people will have to put on real camouflage. A big bullseye is on each and every one of us. All people of earth will go into the dens of the rocks, uh, the kings, the noblemen. The Bible says so in the book of Mark. Google it. I'm tired of giving chapter and verses to stuff that people don't even give a damn about. But the Bible says... And that is what will happen. Why will we have to go into the dens of the rocks underground? Nuclear winter uh, foretold by Zechariah. The battle of slaughters will leave a world before we're all gone. A world where there are seven horny women for one horny man. As Isaiah 4 says, the death shall be that extreme. Only death is ahead of me. Uh, Acts 3 and uh, Deuteronomy 18 says. And uh, unless people turn around. Uh, the battles of slaughter that, that Zechariah described are upon us. Eyes will consume away in sockets, tongues consume away in mouth, and our flesh will consume away as we stand. These are the days of the beast of the, the Antichrist being revealed. It is not the lawless one, Morg. Morg official is just an Antichrist wannabe who is not. He's just a freak show money maker. That guy is only in it for the money. He's got no love for humanity or he would accept my debate to debate uh, the best way to bring forth unity amongst men. And he will not address me at all because he knows he has absolutely no ground to stand on, no root uh, or a branch to hold onto at all, as it is written of me in Malachi 4. And so in this hour, it is time to resolve that we will accomplish all that needs to be happen by keeping our hearts open 
Because if it's not making you better, it isn't love. True love makes you more of who you are, not less. And it is not uh, loving to ignore the whole death of all of us uh, that will curse ourselves by not receiving uh, the Lord's restoration, keeping him in heaven so that he cannot even return unto us. So before I go, know that you should not tell secrets to those who, whose faith and silence you have already tested. I've tested for two years uh, the YouTube community. Nobody, next to nobody, gives a shit about me and they all can only turn me off and turn me out and turn me away as quickly as they can put on a different channel. But I want to tell the world how much I love them. Uh, but I would appear to be a really big fool if I did. But I am fighting for my survival too and for my family's survival. I am a Noah and I know that in these latter days that are exactly like uh, the word of God says, days exactly like the days of Noah, Jesus Christ himself said that unless his word cuts these days short, no flesh could survive what is just ahead of us. Absolutely none. And But he cannot cut these days short with his word alive if his word is not even recognized or given any uh, value at all if his words are considered worthless because his message of Malachi 3.1 that prepares his way is to eliminate racism and spiritual inequality here on planet earth and I've been preaching it 12,000 times and nobody gives a flying damn nobody comments at all ever about the, the covenant that will save our asses and if people will not uh, let those words go to all people, to all tribes, to all nations, as Revelation 14 says of the everlasting gospel, with the everlasting covenant, this world will surely be destroyed and the earth will be in pieces, never to rise again, Isaiah 24. And then a world with no birds, no fish, no mankind, Zephaniah 1.1. 1, 1. Because if the hearts of the fathers don't turn to the children, children to the fathers, this earth will be totally fucking destroyed and all of you will die including me and I am the only one on earth that could turn back the battle uh, at the gates of hell because I know that the Lord is saying in these latter days it shall be considered Jeremiah 30 24 that the Lord is saying I will return my fierce terrifying anger if my people of love will just uh, let their love flow and stop treating Daniel like a fucking asshole. <laughs>